This is about an 80-year-old copper steel. Some people call them a copper pot. But uh, this is your cap. This comes off. This is your steel. This is your slop arm. Now what the slop arm does is when you when you run this, you, that's where you drain it out. All right. Back then, the old timers didn't have a, a valve to stop that up. This right here is what they used. This is what they call a, a swab stick. This is fed through. This is actually fed through the top and come out the bottom. And when you get ready to fill your steel up, you pull it. And it makes like a big stopper. And when you get ready to drain it, you push it back in. But now this is, that is what they use for the stopper. There is very little pressure on a, a, a stainless model. Like an old copper steel, there's very little pressure. And this right here is what they would use. A piece of inner tube, rubber inner tube like in your car, or used to be when you had tubes in the car. And all that does, you would take, wrap that, that right there will seal your steam in. Don't lose none. All right, when you put your beer in here, the beer goes to boiling, it boils the alcohol out of the beer, the steam rises up through your cap, through your cap arm, and into your thump barrel. This is what you call a thump barrel. All right, the purpose of the thump barrel is it's a double boil. You boil here with fire. You boil here with steam. The steam comes off this, goes through this, into the bottom. That pipe fire goes plump to the bottom. All right, you've got what they call backings or low proof alcohol in here. All right, it boils it again in there and it boils every bit of the alcohol out of it. The steam comes up. This right here is what they call a heater or preheater. The purpose of this, you don't have to have this to make liquid. The only purpose of the heater is to hurry the process along. While you're boiling this still full, you've got another still full of your beer here that's preheating. All right, the steam goes through here, through your heater. You've got beer in your box here. All right, the steam comes through, preheats your beer, comes out over here, steam, and this is what you call a condenser. This right here is basically the same thing as a heater. The only difference is a heater is uh, wider because you, you want it to heat. The condenser is a little lower. You want it to cool. All right, you've got cold water circulating around this copper condenser. You've got cold water running in, cold water running out. All right, you just keep cold water, and it turns the steam into your liquid. And this is your alcohol. That is your liquor running out right there. It stays steam from the steel through your heater, through the cap, through the heater, and into your condenser, and then it turns the steam, the cold water turns the steam back into liquid. And the liquid is your alcohol. This is the way you proof it. You catch that? Like that right there. And bump it, and the beads will tell you what proof it is. The more beads, you want your beads to be upstanding on top of the line, and pretty big and stay there for something like 30 seconds. And that right there is good, that's good bead. Now this is what the old timers use to, to proof their liquor. This is a modern day proofer. You fill a jug up we nearly would fill that jug nearly full and we take that off and that would float. All right. It's got proof and temperature. 
you, you uh, divide your uh, temperature by your proof. And that'll give you what proof it is. And when it, at, at 100 proof, the alcohol won't have a bead, not a real good bead. Then you would pull that, that what you call your high shots. You pull your bucket away from it then, and that's your high shot. All right, you would catch maybe three to four gallon of the low proof alcohol for your backings. That goes back in here, back into your thump barrel. All right, like I say, it boils in the steel with bar. It boils the rest of the alcohol out with steam. And that's pretty much the, the process, the, the way it's run. Now this right here is, is an old time filtering hat. That's what the old timers used to filter their moonshine with. What this was actually manufactured for was to filter milk. This is made of felt made out of felt. And this is an old gourd dipper they used to use to catch the moonshine to get them a drink. 